Okay, good day everybody. Mike here. This is try number two at a video on these knives. Uh, first video just went on and on for like 14 minutes of bullshit. So this is kind of a VR to uh, Jeff at Gunwild1 who did a Blade Friday video on the Cold Steel Canadian belt knife. And this is kind of my reply to him to show him the difference between this one and the number three, which really is the knife that Cold Steel should have copied. There's no doubt about it. This is a far more popular knife in Canada than the, the number one. Now down east where these are made in Nova Scotia, maybe these are a little more popular, but I don't think so. In an overall sense across Canada from you know, coast to coast, the number three, especially with the 3A or the army sheath, um, you know, is a far more popular knife. They're similar in size. Uh, they're similar in, you know, everything except the angle's a little bit different on the handle. And I'll be honest, this is a really ugly knife. This is far more traditional and, and practical. You know, probably sells considerably better. Now this is a number 3, and this is a number 3S. And the S just designates a second. And I'll be honest, I can't find a difference between the two that would make me call one a second or not. They came with three different options for sheath, um, stainless steel or carbon steel type blades. Uh, they now offer them in saber grind or flat grind and they have at least a half a dozen different handle materials that you can choose from. So there's a quite a variation available from Groman. I'll be honest, Groman does a really poor job of marketing these knives. Uh, they could probably sell way more of these things if they really did a little bit better, you know, advertising on them. The difference between these knives is that these ones are at least, you know, $125, whereas this was under $20, from what I recall, when I bought mine, anyway. And, uh... I'll give you a quick look here. This is the my bushcraft machete, and I keep the uh, sheath, which is a cordura nylon sheath with a nylon loop for the belt knife right here on the outside of the machete. And I usually just stick this under here so it won't fall out as easily. And that's where it kind of rides. It's a sacrificial knife, you know. I would use it for any kind of a garbage job where it might damage the knife. Now these ones, these are actually in kind of rough shape right now because I'm using them all summer with my little bushcrafting adventures. So that's a look at the Groman D.H. Russell number three jump knife as most canadians would call them have a great day everybody mike out